Hello and welcome. My name is Ashley Bowers and I am the endorsement coordinator for the Wisconsin Alliance for Infant Mental Health. I would like to thank you for taking a few minutes of your day today to learn about infant mental health endorsement and the benefits that it holds for you as an infant mental health provider. Did you know as an early care education professional in Wisconsin, you could earn infant mental health endorsement and join the largest and most recognized infant mental health credentialing system available in the United States. The Wisconsin Alliance for Infant Mental Health, also known as We Aim, is a statewide organization that strives to promote infant mental health through building awareness, promoting professional capacity, fostering partnerships, and supporting policies which are in the best interest of infants, young children, and their families. We aim strives for all Wisconsin infants and young children to reach their fullest potential through nurturing and consistent relationships that support social and emotional development within the context of family, culture, and community. We aim achieves this vision by working with organizations like the Registry, Wisconsin's largest recognition system for the early care and education profession to align early care education training with the recognized specialized education that will equip early care educators to provide high quality, culturally sensitive and relationship-based care to infants, toddlers and their families within the framework of infant mental health. The research is clear. The first three years of life are critical to lifelong health and well-being, making the role and responsibilities of infant, toddler, educator, and care providers incredibly important to family, community, and societal success. Yet there have been few professional opportunities that recognize the knowledge, skills, and aptitudes of early educators and which help to further legitimize the field. That is until now. Infant mental health endorsement is intended to recognize the experiences that lead to competency, informing what we know or the knowledge needed to do the work, what we do or the professional skills needed to do the work, as well as how we are or our ways of being as we work with infants, young children, and their families. Through endorsement, infant mental health professionals, which includes early care educators such as yourselves, demonstrate the acquisition of specialized skills specific to working with infants and toddlers birth to three through a combination of education, training, work, and reflective experiences that lead to the best outcomes for children, families, and communities. Infant mental health endorsement is also much bigger than Wisconsin. The Alliance for the Advancement for Infant Mental Health includes the Infant Mental Health Associations who have licensed the use of the competency guidelines and endorsement created by the Michigan Association for Infant Mental Health. This is the largest and most recognized infant mental health endorsement system in the United States, and it is growing. 31 states currently hold infant mental health endorsement, along with Australia and Ireland. An additional five state infant mental health associations are in some stage of working towards joining the Alliance as well as Japan. Some states have also moved to actually require infant mental health endorsement for professionals who work with this population. So in seeking infant mental health endorsement, you are becoming a part of an incredible movement and initiative. Endorsement, like infant mental health, is cross-sector and multidisciplinary. Endorsement indicates an individual's efforts to specialize in the promotion and practice of infant or early childhood mental health within their own chosen discipline. For this reason, endorsement has four categories that are tied to an individual's scope of practice. Infant family associate has generally been a good fit for early care and education providers, but not exclusively. This is a category that is meant for professionals whose primary role is in the promotion and advocacy of social and emotional development. Many of the registry's infant toddler credential graduates will find that category one, infant family associate, is often the most appropriate for their training and professional roles supporting and promoting social and emotional development. Other categories include infant family specialists, 
for early interventionists working with vulnerable children and their families to prevent developmental derailment, infant mental health specialists for those engaged in infant mental health clinical practice and intervention, as well as infant mental health mentor, which is for leaders in the field of infant mental health. This category further includes three subcategories, clinical for those who provide reflective supervision and consultation, policy for leaders in policy program design and program administration, as well as research faculty for those in academic settings, conducting research that promotes infant mental health and or providing education about infant mental health principles and practices. So why seek an infant mental health endorsement once you've obtained the infant toddler credential? Completion of the registry's infant toddler credential represents a significant step in one's professional career, equipping them with essential education for working with infants, toddlers, and their families. Infant mental health endorsement provides added professional credibility by validating the additional training, work, and reflective experiences in addition to the education that make up the full range of specialized knowledge and experiences one needs for infant mental health informed practice, leading to the best outcomes for children, families, and communities. This is good for you because it enhances your professional credibility and confidence as a specialist in infant mental health. It's good for babies and families by supporting them in a culturally attuned, reflective, and relationship-based way. It's good for communities because it provides assurance to families, agencies, employers, and the public at large that the endorsed professional meets high standards of care. It's good for employers by verifying professionals have obtained a specified level of functioning and understanding about the promotion of infant mental health and relationship-based practices uh, to working with the specialized population. And all of this is good for the field by informing professional development and career planning within an organized framework, creating a competent, high-quality workforce leading to desired child-family outcomes, and uplifting the professional credibility of the infant mental health field, as well as the multiple disciplines within the field, including early care education. We are so excited to share with you that because of a partnership between the registry and we aim as a graduate of the registry's infant toddler credential you will qualify for a special discount which will waive your registration fee to initiate your application to endorse in, to earn endorsement we hope that this is one more incentive and helps eliminate barriers that might otherwise prevent you from seeking endorsement upon the completion of your infant toddler credential. To support the registry's infant toddler credential students in the completion of their infant mental health endorsement application, the registry and we aim have also partnered to develop a toolkit, which includes a wealth of resources to support you every step of the way. We also strongly encourage you to reach out to WEAIM for additional technical assistance. We provide endorsement coordination to support you from start to finish and look forward to supporting you in your journey towards obtaining this esteemed credential.